Hello and welcome to Z. In this episode, we are looking for the amazing waterfall in Canada, which is the Niagara Fall. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. The Niagara Falls Niagara Falls is a collection of three waterfalls at the southern end of Niagara Gorge that spans the border between the Canadian province of Ontario and the American state of New York. Horseshoe Falls, the largest of the three, crosses the two countries' international border. It is also referred to as the Canadian Falls. American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls are both located in the United States. Bridal Veil Falls is located in New York and is separated from Horseshoe Falls by Goat Island and American Falls by Luna Island. The combined falls, formed by the Niagara River, which drains Lake Erie into Lake Ontario, have the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America with a vertical drop of more than 50 meters, 160 feet. More than 168,000 cubic meters, 5.9 million cubic feet, of water flows over the crest of the falls per minute during peak daytime tourist hours. Horseshoe Falls has the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America. Niagara Falls is both beautiful and an important source of hydroelectric power. Balancing recreational, commercial, and industrial uses has long been a struggle for the falls caretakers. Between the twin cities of Niagara Falls, Ontario, and Niagara Falls, New York, Niagara Falls is 27 kilometers, 17 miles, northwest of Buffalo, New York, and 69 kilometers, 43 miles, southeast of Toronto. Water from the newly formed Great Lakes built a passage over and through the Niagara Escarpment en route to the Atlantic Ocean as glaciers receded during the end of the Wisconsin glaciation, the last ice age. History Many names have been proposed as the first to circulate a European eyewitness account of Niagara Falls. During his tour of Canada in 1604, the Frenchman Samuel de Champlain visited the area, and members of his company reported to him the stunning waterfalls, which he detailed in his notebooks. Father Louis Hennepin, a Belgian missionary, is credited with the earliest description of the falls in 1677 after journeying with the explorer René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle, who brought the falls to the notice of Europeans. While ministering among the Huron First Nation in Canada, French Jesuit missionary Paul Ragano most likely saw the falls 35 years before Hennepin. While visiting the neutral nation, Jean de Brebeuf may have also seen the falls. Per Kamm, a Finnish Swedish naturalist who studied the area in the early 18th century, is credited with providing the first scientific description of the falls. Captain Thomas Davies, a British Army soldier and artist, inspected the area in 1762 and painted the earliest eyewitness painting of the falls, an east view of the Great Cataract of Niagara. Tourism grew in popularity during the 19th century, and by the mid-century, it had become the area's primary industry. The first reported couple to honeymoon there was Theodosia Burr Alston, daughter of Vice President Aaron Burr, and her husband Joseph Alston in 1801. In the early 19th century, Napoleon Bonaparte's brother Jerome paid a visit to his bride. As part of his second Arctic voyage, British explorer John Franklin visited the falls in 1825 while passing through New York in way to Cumberland House, calling them so justly acclaimed as the first in the world for magnificence. Following the American Civil War, the New York Central Railroad promoted Niagara Falls as a destination for pleasure and honeymooners. Hugh Lee Pattinson, an English industrial chemist, visited Canada around 1840 and stopped at Niagara Falls long enough to take the first known photograph of the falls, a daguerreotype now in the collection of Newcastle University. 
The small guy standing silhouetted with a top hat was once thought to have been added by an engraver working from imagination as well as the daguerreotype as his source, however the figure is plainly seen in the shot. Because of the unusually long exposure required, about 10 minutes or more, the figure is presumed to be patented by Canada's Niagara Parks organization. The image is flipped left-right and taken from the Canadian side. Pattinson took further images of Horseshoe Falls, which were eventually engraved to depict Nal Marie Paymal Lerboer's excursions de Guerriens, Paris, 1841 to 1864. An iron scow became caught on the rocks above the falls on August 6, 1918. The two men on the scow were rescued, but the vessel stayed caught on river rocks and is still visible there in a deteriorated form, despite shifting 50 meters during a storm on October 31, 2019. The work of daredevil William Redhill Sr. in the rescue was particularly lauded. Tourism increased after World War I as automobiles made access to the falls much simpler. The story of Niagara Falls in the 20th century is essentially one of attempts to harness the falls' energy for hydroelectric power and to regulate development on both sides that endangers the area's natural beauty. Before the late 20th century, the northeastern end of Horseshoe Falls flowed through the United States around the Terrapin Rocks, which were originally connected to Goat Island by a series of bridges. Terrapin Point was formed in 1955 by filling in the area between the cliffs and Goat Island. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers filled in more land and built diversion dams and retaining walls in the early 1980s to divert water away from Terrapin Point. Horseshoe Falls was reduced by 400 feet, 120 meters, including 100 feet, 30 meters, on the Canadian side. The Horseshoe Falls, according to author Ginger Strand, are now totally in Canada. According to some sources, most of Horseshoe Falls is in Canada. An ice blockage caused the sole recorded freeze-up of the river and falls on March 29, 1848. For up as 40 hours, no water, or maybe a trickle, fell. Water wheels ceased turning, and mills and factories shut down due to a lack of power. American Falls was entirely frozen in 1912, while the other two falls continued to flow. Although the falls frequently ice over throughout the winter, the river and the falls do not entirely freeze. The falls were partially frozen in 1885, 1902, 1906, 1911, 1932, 1936, 2014, 2017, and 2019. A so-called ice bridge was frequent at the base of the falls in certain years and was used by those who wanted to cross the river before bridges were erected. The ice sheet has been as thick as 40 feet, 12 meters, to 100 feet, 30 meters, in some winters, but this has not occurred since 1954. The 1841 ice bridge was believed to be at least 100 feet thick. The ice bridge that had constructed on January 15th began to break away while people were still on it on February 12th, 1912. Many people managed to flee, but three people were killed during the tragedy, which was afterwards dubbed the Ice Bridge Tragedy. Facts about Niagara Falls 1. The Niagara Falls are around 12,000 years old. 2. Falls arose when melting glaciers carved out massive freshwater lakes, the Great Lakes, one of which, Lake Erie, raced downward toward another, Lake Ontario. In their fall, the rushing waves carved out a river and at one point crossed over a sheer cliff-like feature, the Niagara Escarpment. The water began to wear its way back up the river from the initial falls that went over the Niagara Escarpment. The rooted left is now known as the Niagara Gorge, a deeply cut and very scenic river path. 3. Niagara Falls is currently losing around one foot every year. 4. The Niagara River travels at a speed of around 35 miles per hour, 56.3 kilometers per hour. 5. Niagara has two waterfalls, the American Falls and the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. 
6. Niagara Falls beauty stems from the combination of height and water flow. 7. The Horseshoe Falls are 180 feet, 57 meters, tall and allow 6 million cubic feet, 168,000 cubic meters, of water to flow over the crestline every minute during peak tourist hours, equivalent to a million bathtubs full of water per minute. 8. The Maid of the Mist, Table Rock Scenic Tunnels, Spanish Aero Car, Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum, Marineland, Casino Niagara, IMAX Theater, and the New Butterfly Conservatory are among the man-made attractions of Niagara Falls. 9. The opening of Louis Tissot's English Wax Museum in 1959 transformed the face of Niagara. 10. Niagara Falls was a heavily inhabited and bustling place throughout Canada's early years. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.